As the University of Denver shows our unity and our solidarity with those that have been gunned down by needless violence. I mean, a lot of the, lot of the apartment demand is coming from those that are migrating into the state. And, you know, it's about 100,000 or so uh, last year and it could be this year. And, you know, many of them come with jobs in hand, relocations, and uh, they're looking for housing, they're physically apartments when they first get here. That stand of roses we've known about for a while, and I've been really excited about the opportunity that we might have to propagate those and to have that be a living legacy to the camp. Most importantly, Dr. Clark is hoping the volunteers learn much more than just the history of the camp. DU International Relations Professor Nader Hashemi says it's highly unlikely Golan had anything to do with the coup. I'm worried that um, Erdogan is so personally obsessed with the Golan movement, trying to crush this movement, that he might even um, threaten U.S.-Turkish uh, relations, put them in doubt. As pioneers, we take very seriously our commitment to the public good. And uh, so this is an opportunity for more than 130,000 alumni around the world to all come together and to, uh, to be a powerful force.